Hello. It's good to see you. Today we're going to be taking a look at the school supplies that I bought for one of my kids. Um, I don't have the list for my other son yet, so I could only work from the one that I had from one of my sons. Um, before I start, I do want to say it would be really great if you could refrain from commenting on how our schools work here compared to where you live or my country could be of your country. If you could refrain from that, that would be really great. That's the one thing I dread every year when I do these school supply videos is the constant debate and drama over, over the, the school supplies. I will say you are not required to re you are not required to supply any of these things, but no, the school does not automatically have them. There's a whole I could give a whole monologue on my feelings about that, but I'm not going to because this is not a channel for that. This is an ASMR channel. And we're here for this. We're not here for all that drama. So if you could just not, that would be extra, extra awesome of you to just not. I have a lot of stuff here I want to show you, and it's in no particular order. Um, I like to supply this stuff because if you don't, a lot of times the teachers have to pay for it out of their own pocket and I don't I don't like that that bothers me I don't think they should have to but they do and you have to work within the system that you have and try to be an advocate for change when things need to be changed because I really believe they do in the meantime we're gonna make the best of it so I'm going to show you these things if you remember these from a few months ago this is actually a fresh pack this is not from that video my new love here post-it notes I got um, a nice selection of post-it notes that was one of the wish list items we had the standard items for each child and then for each grade they had a list of um, extra items that you could send in if you were feeling generous things that the classroom could really use but maybe aren't quite as urgent as the other list of items this was on that list one of the things they listed was just in a, a, range, a wide variety of sizes of post-it notes. So I got this. I feel like this is a really good all-purpose size of post-it notes here, the little squares. They are three inches, three inch squares, and I got them in these nice pretty colors. So I got a little cube of post-it notes. And I also thought this would be a nice addition as well. I have this um, little package here of page markers. You see, this? these are little individual tabs in different colors here. We have one, two, three, four, five of these little ones in pink, kind of a lime green, blue, purple, and yellow. And then in the back we have three more that are a little bigger. And then we have in the very back you can see a larger little uh, post-it note pad there in kind of a kind of lime green color. So more variety of sizes there. And I thought I got another pack, but I don't see them right now. thought I had a third one, but sorry. Um, also, this is, this is a very, very common item that they will ask for. Glue sticks. Now, these are made by Elmer's Glue, which is, it's been around forever. It was around when I was a kid, a thousand years ago. These two here are washable glue sticks. I think these were 50 cents for a pack of two of these. This, oh, and they're that disappearing purple, which is really nice, especially if you're putting it on white paper. You can't really see what areas you've covered, but since it's purple, you can see it better. And then as it dries, it just becomes clear. The list called for eight glue sticks. Now, in the past, I have been able to find packs of eight. But when I was at Walmart, I, only, I didn't see packs of eight. So what I did was I grabbed this pack of six. Elmer's glue sticks. We have the disappearing purple. We have one, two, three of those. And then over here, you'll notice these look a little different. These are blue. These are washable school glue gel sticks. We have one, two, three of those. Um, that's just the way they came. So all together, we have eight. And of course, if they need more, I will happily send in more. I don't think I've ever had a teacher ask for more during the year. It could be that they did, but I try very hard whenever they send home a communication that they need more 
things for the classroom. I try very hard to get those things to send in um, because I know if they're asking for it um, and they don't get it, they're going to have to pay for it and I don't want them to have to do that. So, um, yeah, these are just little glue sticks. You can also get larger glue sticks, but um, I always just get these this size here. I think these are fine. It says it's the number one teacher brand. <laughs> That's cool. Another item that they asked for would be Expo or dry erase markers. Sometimes they get really specific and will say, I would like Expo markers. Um, this year they did not. I think it just said dry erase markers. They wanted some of the thicker ones, you know, with the chisel tip on them. And that's what these are. See, it even says up there, chisel tip dry erase markers. It's kind of up there in that little yellow little band right there. This pack of Expo markers comes with two additional markers, two bonus markers. So instead of just four, you're going to get six markers. Um, so we have blue, orange, we have a sort of a dark blue and then kind of a turquoise color blue, green, pink, and then kind of a burgundy color marker there. So that gives a nice variety of colors if they're um they want to put stuff on the on the dry erase board in different colors. I think Expo markers are the best dry erase markers. I don't like to get the less expensive ones. From my experience they dry out much more quickly. Um they don't they're just not they're just inferior. <laughs> These are the best. The list also asked for the little skinny dry erase markers, the little fine, finer ones. Um, and they only wanted, I think they only wanted four of the chisel tip and four of the skinny. Um, it didn't say whether they wanted multicolor or just plain black. I thought this pack would be really nice for the skinny ones because it does, it does have a black one there. Um, and it also gives you a nice choice. You have a big bunch of choices here. So if you want to use different colors, you have red blue, green, orange, brown, purple, and pink on there. So you don't have to just go with one or two. You, you have a wide variety of choices there. So it's um, a very nice variety there of Expo Skinny Dry Erase Markers. Now this was a wish list item. Right here. This is a whole pack unto itself sheet protectors. These are used if you have um, items that maybe maybe you don't want to put holes in them, you don't want to use a hole punch on them, or it's something that the child is going to be using throughout the year and you want to keep it from getting torn up. You can just slip it into these little sheet protectors. Now the sheet protectors do have holes in them so you can put them in a three ring binder. Um, and then it's open on the top. You're going to have, it's just a little pocket. It's two layers of plastic together. And um, you just slip the paper down in here. You can even put more than one sheet of paper into each sheet protector if you wish. Oh, one more thing. A lot of people criticized me for purchasing so much plastic. Um, I will tell you that at least here, the school supplies that you send in, if they have leftovers, what I was told, now I don't know, but I have been told, and this bothers me, any school supplies that they have left over at the end of the year have to be discarded. Now I do not know that they actually do, but I have been told they have to throw them away. I never get any of these things back. Never do. So if I buy plastic folders for my kids or plastic anything that goes into the school, it never comes back. So even if I wanted to reuse it the next year, I can't because it never comes back to me. I don't know that they throw everything away, but they have been told they are supposed to do that. I do not know why. I think that is horribly wasteful. Um, I would hope that they don't, but I don't, I'm not a teacher, so I don't know. So yes, I do have to buy new stuff every year. A lot of this stuff has to be replaced every single year because of that. And that is a rule from way up high. That is not an individual teacher's preference or anything. So 
again, we don't have to debate that. It's okay. And just, just let it go. Just please just enjoy the products. <laughs> it is what it is. I decided to go with this package of sheet protectors because, oh, actually, I meant to get the 100 count. I just realized I accidentally got the 50 count. The 100 count was a better deal. But they did ask for just sheet protectors. They didn't say how many. So I do have a pack of 50. I thought it was a pack of 100. But apparently the one I grabbed was in the wrong box. But anyway, these are useful for all kinds of things. So, um, they weren't very much. They were pretty inexpensive. Another thing that they asked for is a binder pouch. Now, these are wonderful for all kinds of things. You could put pencils in here, erasers. My younger son was really bad to fill it with matchbox cars, and then his binder wouldn't close because his pencil pouch was, like, that thick. <laughs> he would cram it full of toys, and I would have to make him clean it out periodically. This one is made of nylon, and it has grommets here, little metal grommets to protect it when you clip it into the three ring binder. This is going to keep it from getting messed up. And it's, it has this clear window, so you can clearly see everything that's inside of here. And a little matching red zipper in there. And a little silver metal zipper pull. There. This is from Pen Plus Gear, which I think is like a Walmart brand or something. Um, it looks like it is. Uh, it's a trademark of Walmart Incorporated, so yeah, it is. Um, but my son loves red, so that's why I got him a red one. The one he had last year was frayed and the zipper wasn't working quite right. So, I, you know, I decided to splurge and spend a $2 on a new one. <laughs> um, oh, and another thing people ask me, some people were really hateful about all of this, honestly. Um... Why do you buy new scissors? Why can't he just use the ones that you bought him last year? Because, like all the other school supplies that you send in, the scissors included, whatever you send in, they never come back. They never, I never see them again. So I, you have to buy new ones every year. I didn't make the rules. <laughs> so I picked out a pair of Fisker scissors, comfort grip. Um, I really like the cool design on there. It's almost like zebra stripes, but they're red and black. They have a nice, um, sort of a, a nice grip. It's like silicone, kind of, to help you grip the scissors a little better. And these are for kids 8 and up. So, my son is over 8, so that will work for him. Nice little pair of Fiskars scissors. Alright, and another item on his list was one pink rectangular racer, uh, eraser. And I decided to just go ahead and get a pack of two. Um, I think it was 48 cents for two pink rectangular erasers. Um, yeah, he'll, the, these will last him through the year with no problem. He'll just stick these in his little pencil pouch. And so that was really nice. These are again from Pen Plus Gear. These little erasers have been around forever. I know they were around when I was a kid too. I had them when I went to school as well. I used to draw on mine. I would take like a, a pen and draw on them and drop. So then when you try to use them, the, the, the ink rubs off and my mom would get mad at me. <laughs> but I'd do it anyway. Another item on their list is crayons. And this will probably be the last year that I see that on his list. It's kind of sad. Um, yeah, he's getting older, and I'm thinking this will probably be the last year that I ever have to buy crayons for either of my kids. My other son has long since outgrown that being on his school supply list. Um, so this may be one of the last boxes of crayons I ever buy. <laughs> These are Crayola crayons. It's a nice little 24 count box. I love the fact that they look basically the same as they did when I was a kid. They really haven't changed all that much, except now they have like little cartoon characters and pictures. Back when I was a kid, it was just a plain little box that didn't have all that stuff on there. But they have these at Walmart and Target very cheap right now. You can get the boxes of 24 for around 50 cents. So, 
not too bad in the grand scheme of things. And another thing on his list, uh, colored pencils. I always go with Crayola. There are less expensive brands, but I do find that the Crayola pencils work better. It seems like the colors are more vibrant and it's just a nicer, they just work better than the cheaper ones. And I think these were only 98 cents anyway. So I mean, you know, it's okay. Bright, cold, but bright, bold colors. And they list all the colors on the back. So that will go with him. Oh, these are totally not for him. These are actually for me. <laughs> I was going to get some of these when we first went in there and looked at school supplies, and then I walked out and forgot to get them. This is a limited edition box set of Sharpie markers. Now, I love to, um, in the evenings, if I want to just wind down, if I've had a, a stressful day, and this whole week has just been a nightmare, like everything I have touched this week has turned to crap. Um, when I have a really stressful week like that, it's always nice to just relax for a little bit with, um, I have a mandala coloring book that I've been working on and just take my little fine point sharpies and, um, just color and just forget about it for a little while, like 15 minutes or whatever. So I really like all the different colors. Look at that. There's some really cool colors in there. So, um, yeah, these are for me. I think they were $9.98. But there are 21 markers in here, so I thought that was pretty good for $10. Um, now this item, this is one of the items that was actually on both his school supply list and on the wish list for his grade. Hand sanitizer, and this is a very popular item. This is one that is requested frequently throughout the year. They, they run out and they need more. I am more than happy to supply all the hand sanitizer they want. This is just the Equate kind. My neighbor's dogs are turning into Cujo. Hang on a second. My hypothetical neighbor who may or may not have won the lottery and his two live-in girlfriends. Theoretically, the girlfriends have acquired this tiny dog named Boots. And it barks a lot. Like, that's all it does. It's, it's it's like this big, and all it does is bark at everything. <sighs> Theoretically, that may be getting on my nerves. <laughs> Poor little dog. It's just, it's, I swear to you, it's like that big. It's the tiniest dog I've ever seen. And it's so loud. Theoretically. <sighs> There's been stuff going on around here. We'll have to talk about it sometime. So this kind here has aloe, and it's green. You see, it also has vitamin E in here. This is going to help moisturize your skin and keep your hands smooth. I do find that some hand sanitizers really dry your skin out. I've used this kind myself, and it, it seems to be a lot better about not drying your skin out. This is a 34 ounce bottle. I bought two of these one for the school supply list and one for the wish list. And um, you see the little air bubbles in there. I want them to have all the hand sanitizer they need. Trust me, kids are gross. <laughs> they really are. I mean, I'm not saying they're bad. I'm just saying they're very germy. And they touch each other all the time. Alright, another item on his school supply list right here. 48 pencils. There were a lot of, a lot of, uh, there was a lot of screeching about the 48 pencil thing on the list. These go into, a lot of these will kind of go into a community bin or it's it's like a community supply for the classroom. And if you've ever had kids, you know they, they go through pencils like crazy. I don't know where they go. I'm convinced there's some black hole somewhere that is full of pencils and socks. And that's where they go. They are constantly running out of pencils. Um, and a lot of kids come in with nothing. They don't bring in any pencils and they just take from the community bin all year. Um, so, but I want to make sure they all have pencils to use. This is a box of 48 uh, USA Gold Premium American Wood Pencils. And I will happily buy more throughout the year. And this is an item that they do request. Um, at least once or twice during the year they will ask for more pencils. Um, so whenever they need more, 
Oh, send in some more. I may actually buy another uh, box or two just to s and just give them some extra. Um, so these are made in Tennessee. I never, I never noticed that they're made in Tennessee. And I make sure to get number two pencils because they need that for the little bubble sheets, the little Scantron sheets, so the machine can read them. Certain pencils don't work for that, but these, the, the number two pencils are good. So we have a lovely box of pencils. And then I have a plethora of plastic folders. And again, when I buy these, they don't come back. I send them in and never see them again. Um, this They asked for a total of eight folders. Four of them specifically were supposed to be plastic folders. The other four could be paper if you wanted them to, but I find the paper folders don't hold together and I end up having to replace them during the year at least once because they just, they just come apart. So I went ahead and just got eight plastic folders. They had to have the prongs. It said two prong, but they come with three. I don't really know why they said two. And pockets. You want to make sure they have pockets in there. And they all do. Now is the time to go get these because I find that these plastic folders are some of the first things to that they run out of in the stores. So I got a black one here. That's kind of a nice texture. And a really pretty red one. These are all from Pen Plus Gear. Um, they are plastic and I know that bothers a lot of people and I'm really sorry. Um, but this is what I buy, and next year I'll probably do it again. Um, sorry. But these also have the prongs. You can tell they have the prongs because you have this part here that's raised up. In there, that's where the prongs are. You have one down here, one in the middle, and then another one up here. These were 50 cents a piece. I got a total of eight. I think I only got six different colors and then, or five different colors and then three of them I repeated. I just put those to the side because they're the same. They're, it's just a second one. I really love the cheerful yellow one. That's pretty. The good thing about these is you can write on these with a Sharpie and it, it stays, I mean, it's there forever. Um, so they use these for different subjects. Um, so they like to have at least one folder per subject um, and then they have what they call specials which are certain classes they go to maybe only one day a week and a lot of the specials will have their own folders as well um, so a pretty yellow one this blue one is nice too I think they're all pretty look at that nice blue that's really cool and again it's made the same way you open it up and then here are the prongs. There's one there, one there, and one right there. And you, what you do, you fold out this little part here, the prong, put the paper on it, and then you fit it through this part here and then fold it back. And that is going to secure your paper in here. You can even use sheet protectors in here if you need, if you have anything you want to put in here that's kind of special and you want it to stay intact. You can use sheet protectors. Very pretty blue one. And the last color I have is this kind of a lime green color. This one's kind of cool. That's a nice one. And they have the little sticker on the back from uh, Pen Plus Gear. It seems to come off pretty easily. Normally I don't bother taking them off. I just leave them on there because I don't think about it. I just leave it. But see, he could put his name up here, his teacher's name, the subject. Usually each teacher has their own way of formatting the labels on the, on the folders. Some of them will even make up little label stickers to put on there if they want it, you know, like however they want it. Some of them are really picky, some don't care. Um, so that way when they're ready to hand in their work, they can just, they have a folder for each child. And they can go in and check the work and then give it back to the child. Okay, another thing we had to buy a lot of, well not a lot, four, would be 
composition books. Now there is a wide variety of composition books. People ask me why I don't let my kids go back to school shopping with me. They don't want to go back to school shopping with me. And one way that I'm very lucky is that my kids don't care what I buy. They genuinely do not care. As long as they have what they need, they don't care what color it is. They don't care what kind it is. They don't care. So I get to pick whatever I want. And for me, just from when I was a kid, composition books should look like this. This is what a composition book should look like. I think when I was a kid, this was all we had. Although I do remember this here was a lot thicker. It was a lot thicker than this. Um, it had this really thick cover on it. And the back cover was thicker as well. And it had a different binding. But then again, they weren't only 50 cents a piece. They were more than that even back then. So I'm not complaining. Now on the inside of each composition book, you're going to find this little... The inside cover is going to look kind of like this, where you can write your class schedule in here in this little graph, the little chart. We also have web references, general reference, general reference and research sites. That certainly wasn't there when I was a kid. <laughs> the internet didn't exist. Um, but So you have a hundred sheets of paper in here, and they had to have four composition books in different colors. So I got the plain black and white, and I also found this cool red and black one. Um, this is another item that, at least around here, the stores seem to run out of very quickly, are the different colored composition books. So I always like to try to grab these really, really early before all the, all the little different colors are gone. Again, it has a hundred sheets of paper. And it has a black binding over here. It feels kind of like fabric in a way. And you have the lines here where you can write your kid's name and the subject. Or Usually the teacher will tell them what to put there. Some of the teachers will even write it on there for them. Um, which kind of makes sense. Like if the, kids, if the kid has bad handwriting, you might not be able to read it. I don't know. It might just be quicker if they write it on there. They can read it faster. But it's really up to the teacher to decide how they're going to do that. And then, and this is cool. It's like a lime green and black. And again, these are all from Pen Plus Gear. Right there. 50 cents. Now, Target's prices are comparable to Walmart's. Um, I just happened to be in Walmart when we made the video where we went shopping. I was already in there anyway, so I just went ahead and bought everything there. Maybe we can do my other sons all at Target or something. We'll do a shop with me video in there and get all his stuff in Target. It's fine. I don't, I, I'm totally fine with that. So it's lime green and black. Pretty little composition book. These are great. I think they're wonderful multi-purpose books. You can use these for all kinds of things. Oh, on the back, we have metric unit conversions. Uh, fractions, decimals, and percentages, multiplication chart, punctuation, and spelling rules all on one thing. That's pretty cool. I've never noticed that. I don't really look at it that closely. It's kind of cool that they do that. It's very helpful. And then, finally, the last composition book is um, kind of a neon orange color. <laughs> Very festive. Kind of looks like the 80s, all these neon colors. I just noticed that they're all college ruled. That's fine. My, my son's handwriting is kind of small. He won't have a problem with that. Nice little cover on there. I find that these actually hold up pretty well throughout the year. Um, they don't get as much wear and tear as some of his other stuff does. He doesn't use these every day. Like he'll use, use maybe one a day or something depending on what subject it is. So we have a pretty little neon orange composition book. And then they asked for, I believe, I believe they did ask for two packages of paper. Or maybe they only asked for one. Honestly, right now I don't remember. Loose, this is called loose leaf notebook paper. 
because it's loose it's not there's no spiral binding or anything else it's it's contained in this plastic and once you open it you're going to have 150 sheets of paper that are totally loose and they just fly everywhere if a stiff breeze comes up they're going everywhere our paper size in the United States is um, a letter size sheet of paper is eight and a half inches this way and 11 inches this way. I know a lot of other countries use A4 paper, which is thinner, a little thinner and a little longer. But when you are looking at notebook paper, the, um, the measurements are a little different. They're off by a half inch. So it's going to be a half inch smaller this way and this way. It's eight inches this way, ten and a half this way. So it's a little smaller than standard um, paper like you would use in a printer. This is wide ruled, which means the lines are just a little further apart than college ruled. Um, yeah, so I bought two packs of the Norcom wide ruled paper, 150 sheets a piece. This is not an item they typically ask for, you know, like during the year. I don't think I've ever had one ask for more, so maybe they don't use that much of it. I'm not sure. Now this item, I think this was on his regular school list. This is another very popular item here, tissues. They go through a lot of tissues, especially in the wintertime. You know, all the kids have colds and the teacher has a cold. Everybody has a cold. Um, they only asked for two boxes of tissues, but this came with three, <laughs> and I know, I know it won't go to waste. Uh, yeah, they will use every bit of this and then need more. Every time they ask for tissues, I will always get at least one of these three packs like this. Sometimes I'll get two or three and send them in. Um, yeah, so we have three boxes of tissues here. You have 180 two-ply tissues per box, so you're going to have 540 total tissues in here. And uh, you'll be surprised how fast they will go through a box of these. So I, I don't mind sending in more. I really don't. I don't like the thought of the teacher having to go out and spend their own money on them. Okay, now these next three things were wish list items. Now these are standard paper size for uh, the United States. It's eight and a half inches by eleven, which is a little, a little different than A4 paper. They asked for some multicolored cardstock, and they use this for all kinds of things throughout the year. So we have one, two, three, four, five colors of cardstock. We have solar yellow, reentry red. Luma, lunar Blue, Cosmic Orange, and Terra Green. Now these are from Astro Designs. Um, let's see how many sheets we have in here. It's not a lot. I mean, you can tell. And cardstock is kind of thick, too. I don't know that this is something they use a lot of. Um, but, oh, it's, it's right in front of me. 20. 20 sheets of that. So it's probably four of each, I guess. That that looks that looks about like twenty sheets of cardstock, because it's it's thick and you can see it's clearly it's way thicker than the paper. Like we have one hundred and fifty sheets of paper. That's a lot floppier. So we have the multicolored cardstock, and they also asked for white cardstock, just plain white. So I also got a pack of plain white. Ultra um, ultra white cardstock. Again, it is eight and a half inches by eleven. This is also from Astro Designs. They have the little label there on the front, and some pretty pictures up here. Just some little ideas of things you could use cardstock for. You could make all kinds of little things with it. That's kind of cool. You could make a little mobile. <laughs> That's cute. So I also have a package of twenty sheets of ultra white cardstock. And they also asked for copy paper, multicolored copy paper. Um, the biggest pack I saw, and there maybe I overlooked it, but the biggest pack of multicolored copy paper I saw was this one from Pen Plus Gear. 
um, or it's, it's either pronounced pan plus gear or pan gear. I don't really care. Um, this is 120 sheets of multicolored copy paper. It says you can use it in any inkjet or laser printer and copier. Isn't that pretty? Look, you can make something like that with it. That is really pretty. I like that. It's probably a video somewhere showing you how to do that. That's really neat. We have a bunch of different colors here. There's blue, pink, yellow, purple, and sort of a mint green. They didn't ask for specific colors, they just said multicolored, so it is definitely that. 120 sheets of it, so hopefully that will help. Okay, this is another item that was on both the school supply list and the wish list. We have Lysol disinfecting wipes. You could get Lysol or Clorox or store brand. It doesn't matter. They are grateful for anything you, you can send in. Um, I grabbed these. Each pack has 35 wipes and we have four here. So you're going to have a total of 140 wipes. So you buy three, you get one free for school. They're all four for school. One, two, three, four. I'm not keeping them. I don't, I don't even use these here. Um, I just use a spray bottle and a paper towel or whatever. Um, but I bought two packs of these so they can have extra. This is another thing that they do ask for during the year at least once to help wipe down doorknobs or desks and, you know, just things that get touched a lot, you know, especially in the winter time. Um, they just try to keep everything wiped down if possible. And the cool thing is with some of these items, they have box tops. You may not be familiar with the box top program. Um, I'll show you the box tops. Now they're very small. On some items they're bigger. You have one, two, three, four little box tops with um, the box tops for education program. And again, it's on certain items you buy, food items and non-food. Um, the school collects box tops and they send them in to the, the company they have an address that they send them to, and um, oh, they may do it electronically now. I'm not really sure how that works, but you turn in the box tops, and they get money. I think they get 10 cents per box top to help fund um, things and buy things for the school. So it's kind of a way to raise money for the school. They will have box top drives where they will ask you to save and send in your box tops. Um, I usually keep a little Ziploc bag in the kitchen, like in a cabinet where um, when I have a box top, I'll cut it out and stick it in the bag. And, and then when they have a drive or the bag gets full, I will give it to... My older son's school doesn't really do the box top thing. Um, or if they do, I've never heard about it. My younger son's school does. So I usually give it to him to turn in. So um, it's kind of weird how some schools really push that and some don't. But my younger son's school loves the box tops. <laughs> so I always send them in. So we have two packs of these. It's kind of cute. Looks like little pencils. It's kind of cool. Lysol wipes. So they're always very happy to get those. And then this year they asked for a two inch binder. Each student needs a two inch binder. To, and, and what they use this for, they did it last year too. They keep a lot of their assignments in here. Um, any, any homework they have. It's basically like a homework folder kind of thing. They keep a lot of their homework in here. And sometimes um, the teacher will just ask for their binders and just check whatever is in here. So I decided to get this one. <clears throat> and this it said it was heavy duty. That's why I wanted to get it. Because sometimes they, they kind of start coming apart along the seams as the year goes on. This one is made of plastic, please forgive me, but it says it's an extra strength cover. I'm really hoping this will survive the school year without me having to put uh, duct tape on it, which I have done. I have duct taped my kids' folders before. Um, they think that's hilarious. They love it. <laughs> they, they, I know one year my older son, he did this. He took one of his folders and it had it was coming apart all over the place. I said, let's just get a new one. He said, oh no, I've been waiting for this. He 
he used almost an entire roll of duct tape fixing and it was just coated in duct tape like the whole thing was just duct tape he thought it was the coolest thing he was very proud of his duct tape folder <laughs> so it has this really cool marbly design I thought that was pretty somebody asked me what my son thought of all of his school supplies he, he didn't even look at them he just said oh thank you cool thanks and he just walked away like okay <laughs> thanks that's cool. He didn't even look at any of it. He didn't look at the bags. He didn't care what it was. He, they don't, I'm telling you, neither one of my kids have any interest in, in school supplies. They just do not care. They don't even want to think about school. <laughs> um, yeah, so here is his two-inch binder. I like this kind that has the rings in them like this where it's straight. It's not round. I find the paper sits in there better with the straight little holders there like that. This will hold up to 540 sheets, and it also has the one-touch secure locking for the rings. So I've never bought this kind before, so I'm kind of curious to see how this binder holds up throughout the year. And then you have a little pocket right here with the, the, this little paper stuck in that you could put, you know, something with your kid's name on it, teacher, whatever you want to put in there. Um, let them draw a little picture on it or something. Which is whatever. Or the teacher the teacher may have things printed out to go in there. Don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. I don't even know who his teacher's going to be yet. Kind of curious about that. There's one teacher in particular that I really hope he gets because this teacher is so awesome. My older son had this teacher and I really hope my younger son gets this teacher. Okay. This was another wish list item. I think this is the first year that this has not been on the regular list. And that is zipper, Ziploc bags. They always ask for this. And a lot of times what they'll do is, because see, they need both quart size and gallon size. They will have, like they'll say, we want all the boys to bring in quart size bags and all the girls to bring in gallon size bags. So they get kind of half and half. You know, they get some quart size, some gallon size. Um, or they may ask for one box each. It changes all the time. But on the wish list, they had the Ziploc bags. They were looking for quart size and gallon size. So um, I grabbed this box here. This is the Super Mega Pack. This has 120 bags in here. It's a really big box. So I'm hoping that these will last for a little while. They use these for all kinds of things at school. Um, they do. They use them for all kinds of um, classroom projects, and just there are there are hundred different uses for these things. <clears throat> so whatever they need them for, I want to make sure they have as many as they need. So, hundred and twenty <laughs> in the super mega colossal pack. And then, as I mentioned, this part came undone. Somehow. There we go. It just tucks in like that. They also asked for the gallon size. Now this has 110 and of course it's longer. It's a bigger box because the gallon size bags are bigger. <laughs> has snap and click. Locks in freshness. Although most of these probably won't ever have food in them. Um, 110 bags. And it's perforated. The, the quart size bag uh, boxes as well has a perforation on it where you just come to this little point and you can push it in and pull this top part off and it comes around here see it kind of goes around the edge comes down this will make the box into a little dispenser it becomes like a little dispenser for the bags and they just come out one at a time like tissues once you open it up like that they are um, positioned in such a way that they will come out that way. So we also have um, the gallon size. I don't think they had boxes of these this big before. I think this is a new thing, but I could be wrong about that. I'm not sure. Um, but again, you know, this is another thing they go through um, during the year, and I want to make sure they have enough to last them throughout the year. And if not, all they have to do is tell me, and I will get them more I'm actually missing an item. Let me see if I can find it. No, actually I was missing several items. I, there was a whole bag of stuff I overlooked over there. Um, 
another thing on the wish list was baby wipes. Um, these these come in handy for all kinds of things, uh, wiping up, you know, something on a kid's hands or whatever. I don't even know. But I grabbed a package here. <coughs> These are fragrance-free, just in case anybody has a problem with the scented ones. Um, these are from Parents' Choice, which is the first time I bought Parents' Choice stuff since my younger son was little. Um, they, I used to buy these diaper wipes for him, and they're great. I mean, they work fine. Little wipes. And you get 80 in here. Now, this can either be used as a refill pack or... With the little top on it here, you can pop it open. There's a seal in there. You remove that. And then the little package just becomes its own dispenser with the plastic part right here. Although I have bought these before where when you go to open it and remove the seal, like this whole thing comes off. I've had that happen. And then they have to just live in a Ziploc bag for the rest of the duration <laughs> to keep them because they will dry out. If you leave them open, they dry out. That's pretty though, a little butterfly on there. So you get a total of 80 wipes in here. I don't think I've ever had them ask for more wipes. So I'm thinking it must be something they don't use too often. Um, I don't think I've ever had a request for more. I don't remember ever sending any. So, And usually when they send a request, I will go out and get it. Um, and then I also bought this. I thought this might be useful. This comes in a little plastic container where you just have the little piece here where you push it down and this pops up. And there's a package of wipes in here as well. Just like the other one, there are 80. So when this is empty, you could um, you could plop these down in, the, in here or you could just use that plastic one the way it is. I just thought they might like to have at least one of these. Um, the teacher may prefer to use this kind. I don't know. So, um, I just thought I would give them one of each, just in case. So it's a nice little plastic box of diaper wipes. <laughs> oh, and I did find, this was also in the bag I overlooked a minute ago. I did get more post-it notes. I thought I did. Again, they asked for different sizes. And this has one, two, three, four sizes. These are gigantic. Look at those back there, the orange ones. And these two packs, the orange and the pink, have lines on them, which makes it easier if you're writing, you know, if you're writing a, a screed, you have, you know, you, it's going to be straight. <laughs> and then we have the little blue square pack, lime green there. That's more like the standard size, the three inch squared ones. So I think with this and the other two packs of post it notes, hopefully. That will be enough to last them a little while. But a lot of times when they send things home, they will stick a little note on there um, for the parents to see just something they might want to point out to the parents so they make sure they notice, you know, take a look at this little thing here, you know. So they, they do that a lot. So I know, I know they use those a lot. And the last thing I have, this was also a wish list item, permanent markers. They didn't specify that they wanted any certain color or type. I just went ahead and grabbed some Sharpie markers. Um, and it's a nice variety of colors. You do have black and brown, but you also have purple, red, sort of a magenta fuchsia color, orange, yellow, green, kind of a blue-green, blue. That's, no, sorry, dark green and light green, green, blue, kind of an aqua color, and dark blue nice variety of colors um, in here. Now these are not the big fat markers, but it, again it didn't specify. I think they're just looking for what, you know, whatever you want to send in. So I thought this was a nice little package of Sharpie markers here. It's a wonderful thing. You can use these for so many different things. So yeah, you get a total of 12 markers. I think it was six dollars and something for them, so I thought that was pretty reasonable. Oh, oops, one more. This was on the regular school supply list. Index cards. And a lot of times they will use these if um, they're working on a project, either a group project or something they are going to turn in later. They will make notes 
about different things on their note cards and keep them. If they have to give a presentation in front of the class, sometimes they'll write notes on the cards then, and they're allowed to take the cards up to kind of use them get you know to do their little presentation. Just all kinds of things and sometimes the teachers will use these for different things. Um, but I have a pack here of a hundred of the three three by five index cards. They also make four by six um, but I find that usually they use these more than the, the larger ones. So that is the last thing I think. Anyway, but yeah, I have not gone shopping for my other son yet. That's, I don't have his list yet. So hopefully I'll get that soon. Another item on their list was, the wish list was um, thumb drives. I've ordered two thumb drives from Amazon to go with everything. They haven't come yet, but that's part of it. And they also ask for recess equipment. I'm going to ask for clarification. I'm not sure exactly what they're looking for. I'm assuming it's stuff like jump ropes and kickballs or whatever, but I don't know. So I want to make sure I know what they're looking for, what they would most want to have before I go buy anything. So I'm going to ask about that at open house, I think. They do open house usually a week or so before school starts where you get to come in and find out which class your teach which class your kids going to be in, who their teacher is going to be. Um find out where their desk is. You go in and get to see the room and meet the teacher and I already know all the teachers, but it'll be nice to see them. So um one of them was actually going on vacation to London, I believe, this summer, so I'm kind of curious to see how that went. So, anyway, that is um that's everything I have for right now. It's quite a lot. So I will just pack everything up and wait for wait for open house and then we just take it all in at open house and they put everything away and and we're good. So um but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and just stay tuned because pretty soon we are going to be going to Target to look at all their back to school stuff. If you like my little shop with me videos, that's we're going to do that pretty soon. So thank you again watching and I hope you have a great day. I'll see you later.